this is not just anime. We got another K-pop reaction for you guys. So this is Korea's most famous half black, half Korean. I assume she's from Nigeria. So half African. Huh? <laughs> what? She's Nigerian and Korean. So we about to, you know what I'm saying? We were talking about, you know, color. I was also told, I'll tell you some stuff that I was told about this artist as well from my Discord. But let's let's react to her. We got a sister, bro. No, we, maybe not a sister, but we got, uh, A sister, know? you kind of. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Adiola Ash. Okay. A lot of that Korean took over. Hi everyone, it's Adiola. Welcome to my channel. Jenny and Park is Korea's most famous half black teen model. Oh, this is the Today, YouTuber. I will give you a glimpse into her, her life name? story. Most famous half black teen model. Today, channel. Jenny Park is Korea's Park. most famous okay. half black teen model. Jenny Today, Park. I will give you a glimpse into her life story. It wasn't until Jenny and her mom moved to a small village by the sea that things got really bad for her. Near the beach where her family lived wasn't diverse like her old neighborhood. In an interview with Korea Now, Aww. Jenny said she gained a lot of attention there and people around her started to tease her for being black. Suddenly facing- Oh, that's what I was talking about. You know, they were talking about, I was talking to the, the army of BTS. Oh, if BTS had a black person there, he would definitely be in BTS. Shut the freak up. Racism in Korea, in Asia, it's in China, real, in yeah, Japan, believe, in Taiwan, it. nigga, everywhere, like, bro. bro and even just racism, it's colorism, bro. They even if you, they're, they're, they're more prejudiced against darker skinned Koreans, too. They don't like black people out here. Get the freak America. out of here. Look at that. She was teased for being black. Of course she was. She's a no wave black. of racist taunting from being sweared at to getting mocked by her classmates. Jenny didn't know how to react. Sometimes she would cry, and sometimes she would just ignore the comments. When Jenny asked her mom why Aww, she was being treated cute. differently, her mother told her, you are very special, a really Aww. cool kid. And she kept telling Jenny that message to reassure her. Nightmare, growing up in Korea, half black. That's a nightmare, my nigga. Some of Jenny's friends came to her defense with the same message as well. When people made fun of Jenny, her friends would say, Jenny is a really special friend to get the other kids to leave her alone. Yeah, as a student attending black. Bangi Middle School, you could really see the black when she was black. a child. Yeah, it seems that as she grows up, it kind of went away or, she, or made it go away. She, oh! <laughs> hey, you see, I didn't say that. You see you see what I was doing? I, I, I hey, didn't say that, I'm, I'm keeping it a stack. But you're thinking it. You her, hair, her hair is coarse. That's nigga hair right there. Yeah. That's nigga. That she didn't look like it when she got on that runway. Permit. Tonight. Jenny became interested in modeling after she was invited to take portraits at an acquaintance's studio. Jenny told Vogue Korea that when she got in front she of the camera, she has a real nice full coarseness to her hair. Yeah, that she gone. The sound of the shutter made her feel energized, like an idol dancing on stage. She never wanted to forget that feeling. From that day on, Jenny fell in love with the shutter sound and decided to pursue a modeling career as it seemed to be fate. A lot of people doubted her dream, wow. telling her she wouldn't make it, but Jenny pushed on anyway. She worked hard, Good exercising her. to get her body into shape and practicing her Good poses her. with the shutter sound on YouTube. After reaching her body goal, Jenny nice. started to DM Browns on Instagram, sending them her photos in hopes of getting a job opportunity. Nice. One athleisure company Ooh, did end nice. up replying to her, and in 2020, Jenny became a sportswear model for the brand for a year. While doing these shoots, she continued messaging brands like Nike and Fila, trying to get more work. To her luck, Jenny wasn't the only one who recognized her star power. Nice. The top modeling agency in South Korea, Esteem Model. See the, the hair? See the texture's different. Yeah, that's totally a weave though. Yeah, probably. That's a weave. I thought she might have not out. Signed Jenny to their roster in 2021, and her career skyrocketed from there. She also became a model under SM Entertainment, one of the largest entertainment company uh, companies in it? Korea, through their partnership with Esteem. I could be wrong. Jenny made her debut yeah, until Fashion Week. That's no, 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 that's, that's, that's her. That's, that's her. her, 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 her. Is that her mom or is that probably her homegirl? same year, going on to work for large international brands such as Samsung, 
New Balance. She also starred in the latest campaign for Shinhan Card, the biggest credit card company in South Korea. Most recently, she modeled in a McDonald's commercial for the FIFA World Cup in Qatar. She's also modeled in many magazines, including Vogue Korea, Vogue Italia, Harper's Bazaar, Marie Claire, Dazed, Elle, and Cosmopolitan. Jenny says she hopes to one day be on the cover of one of these magazines so she can go to the bookstore and see her face on display. As a teen model in high demand, Jenny has starred in multiple cosmetic campaigns, including popular Korean beauty brand 3CE and skincare company Dr. Jart. Her appeal to Gen Z has made her a hot commodity in the Korean fashion world, especially considering Blasian models are rare in the country, and she pulls more attention due to her unique looks. Korean netizens have left comments saying she looks pretty like a doll, almost like an animated character from a movie. This year, Jenny graced the catwalks of several designers at Seoul Fashion Week. At the Nohant show, she graced the same runway as Han Hyunmin, another Nigerian Korean model, known for being South Korea's first model of mixed African-Korean descent. Jenny's Fashion Week goal is to be in the Miss G Collection show, a popular Korean women's wear brand. She also dreams of walking on the runways of global luxury designers such as Prada. Jenny's dreams don't seem too far away, as she recently modeled in a campaign for Italian fashion brand Ferragamo alongside Solgi of SM K-pop group Red Velvet, who is currently the brand's global ambassador. She also collaborated with Prada subsidiary brand Miu Miu for an influencer campaign. Dubbed the human vitamin by her agency, Jenny is known for her bright human personality vitamin. and contagious energy which radiates wherever she goes. Due to her bubbly appeal and her ENFJ status being able to shine through the screen, Jenny has become a viral star on social media. She is very thin. I wonder why. She works out. It's the model body. She wants that typical model body. And, you know, models. They want that that look. Korean women are small. Yeah, and it's kind of like she was stuck in that. She's Korean. Yeah, she grew up in Korea, so. I don't. On Instagram, her lifestyle. Her other side though. Period. Oh, she lives because she lives in Korea. She, ain't no niggas out there to chill with. Monster, monster, monster. And fashion reels have gained tens of millions of views. Her most watched video on the platform, at over 21 million views, is of her and her friends eating in the cafeteria at school. Jenny currently attends Hanlim Arts High School, a specialized school for students who want to join the entertainment industry. In South Korea, students in their third grade of middle school have to take entrance exams to get into the high schools that will help determine their career trajectory. That's dope. Lucky son of a... <laughs> These high schools vary, from science-focused programs to prestigious maybe, private maybe schools for the gifted. For life, Hanlam bro. is a very hey, popular arts high school in Korea, well known for their famous alumni. Hey, their graduates pretty. include K-pop idol soloist Somi, Ji-woo, Chae-young, and Dahyun of K-pop group TWICE, Ryujin, Cherryoung, and Yuna of ITZY, along with Chu and Kim Lip of LUNA. They have many K-pop idols currently attending the school as students as well. Jenny got into Hanlim this year and is currently a student in their fashion model department. For one of her class projects, her and her classmates had to curate a fashion show from start to finish. Jenny takes her craft very seriously as she hopes to one day be a worldwide supermodel. Before showing up for a booking, she studies the brands and designers she's scheduled to work for. After researching their aesthetic and brand message, she drafts potential poses for the shoot, drawing them in her notebook and memorizing the best ones. Once she's at the job, she poses in a continuous stream as if she were dancing, making her shots look effortlessly beautiful. 
Through her influence as a model, Jenny wants to be able to help those in need, whether by providing emergency services or simply bringing a smile to their face. In the future, she plans to pursue acting so she can make people happy through program shows. Her ultimate dream is to be known as the best K-model in the globe, as she represents Korea on the world stage. Some of the images, she looks pure Korean, and then some, that she looks like she's ethnic. Yeah. Like, sometimes she's Especially like right really here. light, yeah, and then yeah. sometimes they, they, it's like the camera, you can, you can make somebody look lighter, darker, you could, with the lens, bro, you can yeah. do that, and I think that that's like, intentional. I think there's some campaigns like Vans. They probably wanted her to be like more the black girl. Or and then like the the credit card company probably wanted her to be more Korean looking. Like they could lighter. She could go but that that's a duality, bro. She could F with both sides, bro. Despite the naysayers, Jenny has she's continued to strive for her like dream. Her the motto she lives by states, success will come to those who work hard. Jenny told Vogue Korea, I believe that if I work hard, one day my dream will come true. I promise to be a better person than the ones who criticize me. I ignored the negative prejudice and tried to live like myself. Her hard work has definitely paid off. Persevering through adversity, Jenny has become the most famous half-black teen model in her entire country. The best is yet to come for this young star. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post I think that she should, um... She's gonna blow up. Be an actress or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I, I was thinking that. I myself. wonder if she could sing. I thought she, was a, I thought she was a singer for a minute when we was looking at that, because, you know, we... All we right, for sure. We... Go ahead, girl. Go ahead with your bad self. You know, she, you know, she had to deal with the racism, obviously. She still does. She still has to deal with racism, bro. That's, that's, that's shout just out the reality. being strong and, and determined. Like, you know, a lot of stuff like this will mess people up. Like, you know, and for her to keep fighting. Oh, oh she show got messed up. Over. Right, but she still fought to get she, here. Yeah, just because she's pretty on camera don't mean that she's psychologically yeah, going through some yeah, shit. Yeah, of course. She needs probably, she might, you know, be going through therapy or something like that, bro. Because you get, tra that's traumatic, bro. Yeah. Going Trauma is a, is a bitch. I can already imagine some of the shit she went through with her grade school. The things that she was, all day, every day with that shit. Man, freak that. So, yeah. Uh, what a great success story. She's beautiful, and I wish her the best, you know? Yeah, me too. I think that she looks great. So, yeah, on Discord, I was told that she still gets th thrown through the ringer. Like, people still call her all type of racist words and shit. Haters and people who just don't like black people out there. Like, she's still going, facing an uphill battle. And the fact that she's come this far is a testament to her perseverance and her longevity and her... Determination, her unbridled determination, that force of will that she has. Go ahead, girl, you look good. I holla, I hit it, I put a ring on it, maybe. <laughs> Depend on what that mind is like. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so very much for watching. That's E Man. I'm Johnny Joe. We out. Deuces. Ooh.